Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nogat21. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. In the last episode, we had decided to explore the wounded coast, finding nothing but bandits, giant spiders, Kunari Talvashov trying to kill us, and. Uh, well. We slaughtered our way through them all for the most part. Had a little uh, reset problem. Death is a pain in the ass. Especially when the game doesn't autosave constantly for you. But, we've made our way into Talvashov's cavern, a hideout, cave system, whatever. In order to uh, finish, uh, get to the next stage of the quest that we're on, what are we on again? Ah, Black Powder Promise. One problem. This room is filled with Talvashov. No shit. However, they're not the problem. The problem is when the Sarabash shows up, which is a Kunari mage that likes to spam electricity that absolutely wrecks my entire party. So I have two options. One is to keep charging in here like a fucking bull and just brute my fo force my way through. Option two is to regroup, re-strategize, and prepare myself. Hmm. Choices, choices. But, I will t try... Hang on a minute. Let me just make sure... Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure whether or not the game was actually doing the proper loading. For some reason, the game took a little bit longer to load than normal. Hmm. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Bum rush this fucker. I don't understand how I'm attacking for that. What the fuck? Get back here, you son of a bitch. The idea... Kill the leader, then that means the one buffing everybody is already dead. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Leader's down, which means any buffs to the rest of the Talvashop are now void. That may have also. Anders, heal Fenris. Okay, 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 we're making good progress. Whoa! Okay. Now we have the problem. Heal yourself up. Oh boy, Anders is in a bit of a position. Isabel is dead. Dad, ah, I'm stuck. How am I stuck? And Anders is dead. Okay, I'm gonna make a strategic withdrawal. Run away! Run the fuck away! They eventually got a lease eventually, right? If I have to run out of this cave, I will do so. Better part of Valor. Better part of Valor. Run away! Man, you guys are persistent. Later, bitches! Oh, we cannot do this while in combat. Fuck me! Well, that presents a bit of a problem. I better focus on the uh, spear throwers.
Unfortunately, there is a long path which will allow me to wait out the timer on the O-Fruit. Kill this asshole. Make myself a little stronger. That's right. You heard me. Okay. We're out of combat? Yes, we are. Excellent. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. We're severely injured, but this is good. The only thing left is that Cerebas. Oh, that's annoying. Ball potions share cooldown. Oh, that's annoying. Anders, my boy. Get up. Oh, wait. I forgot. You're stuck here. Actually, yeah. Uh, Fenris? Don't know what you're doing. Out of the AoE. Isabella? Stand back. Everybody, stand over here, please. Okay, now we can beat the overlay. Get him. Now with two people. Shit, 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 shit. Get out of there. Just wait. Now we stun him. Oh, fuck me. Ha-ha! Isabella! Ha-ha! Suck it, bitch! Healing would be welcome. Indeed it would, considering everyone's severely injured. I think it's time for us to loot and head back to Kirkwall. <laughs> I am about to fall. Formula combustion grenade. Oh, that's neat. Okay. That could have gone a lot more smoother, but I think it was the proper... It was the proper choice to go, yeah, focus fire the leader first. Otherwise, all the other members that was shown up for the party would have been severely buffed. We can't have that. Hmm. I have a feeling I am going to need to figure out my problems with solving enemy mages. Or it could have been that I did not have the proper party set up for dealing with a Cerebus showing up. Either way, we won. And that's the way out. But before we do that, is there any other loot? Yes, crates. Yes, yes, I know. We're all injured. Well, you guys are all injured. Okay, well, if all, po if all healing potions share the same cooldown, let's head back to Kirkwall. Gamblin's house, please. The higher our attack score, the more likely we're able to hit our opponent. Good to know. No new letters. Excellent. Anything in storage? Yes, DLC junk, I bet. Yep, armor. It's armor. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. DLC. Okay. Runes! See, I have 11 gold, Rune of Frost, a weapon rune that adds cold damage. Do, does my weapon even have the ability to use runes? No, it does not. We do not have weapons yet that give us the ability to use runes yet. Ooh, the Red Grace. What's this look like? Awesome! My favorite model. 
Unfortunately, I need to be level 17 for this. The Might of the Sten can have has runestones on it. Hmm. Okay, so I can have two runestones. Oh, what? Let's see. Runestone there. Rune, rune there. Rune there. Alright. What can I make? I don't have enough lyrium or silverite to make a lightning rune. Or fire warding. But I can make a rune of frost. And... Might as well order two runes of protection. Potions... I don't really need to restock that just yet. Poisons, though? Hmm. Enemy damage minus 15%. Hmm. That is good, but I wish it was... I wish I had better stuff. Now, oh, well. Okay, now how the fuck do I use runes in this game? <laughs> that is a very important question. I got the rune stones, but how the fuck do I equip them? Oh wait, I need to go see Sandal. That's that's how. Okay. Uh, might as well do this for building purposes. High town. Let's go. I've never met a dwarf before. That's because you've spent too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. Dalish don't really frolic, either. Not in the woods, anyway. You have sanctioned frolicking areas? No, just not in the woods. The trees get jealous. But you do frolic. Of course we do. We wouldn't be elves otherwise. I can't tell if she's joking or not. That's scary. Anyway, let's go see Sandal. And once I do that... Sandal, you're over here. There you are. Enchantment apparatus. Ah, I don't need to worry about uh, people being in my party for this crap. That's good to know. Let's see, I have room in. Oh, I already have some rooms. Okay. Let's add some fire damage and some frost damage. And I can put a rune to Varric. It's a co coat, I forgot. So, oh, I got three of these. There we go. Enchantment. Okay, let's level everybody up. Meryl. Blood of the First. Wrath of the Elven. Hmm. I should probably wait until I can get some good stuff. Like, Petrify. That could be useful. 30 cunning. Varric. Let's see. Kick back. As a merchant prince, if you know something about well placed brown, sometimes you need a well placed bolt. Yeah, sure, why not? We need to be level 9 to get Bianca's song, might as well give him another damage ability. Heavily. Upgrade taunt or upgrade pummel below? Or it can give uh, let's give her assault. Okay then. Oh oh wh wow. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a shit ton of things I can do. <laughs> Magistrate Venard. That's Chantry for duty. Amaranthi Conspirator. 
Okay, let's go take care of the Amaranthine Conspirator, then head up to the Chantry and turn on duty, considering we already did. We already killed all the mercenaries. I should move to foul. Chantry Courtyard. Oh, I haven't completed anything for the Chantry, so why am I even bothering? Dalish elf here? And Arana Tishan's sister. Oh my. The... Nice to know. Hello, conspirator. Oh, come on. Quest update of the conspirators. Oh, the mercenary archer dropped something. What do you drop? Stamina draught and some money. Actually, now I think about it, I probably I actually do need to visit a goddamn merchant. <sighs> but before we do that, let's go collect our reward from Sebastian. Then the grocery. Oh, whatever, a woman. Fenris's mansion. God damn it. <sighs> Why do the NPCs need to actually talk? And I say NPCs, not companions, there's a difference. Companions are useful people to have. Sebastian! So, will anyone smite me if I tell you I killed the man who wronged your family? Excuse me, who are... My post to the Chancellor's board? Did Her Grace let that stay? I thought for sure no one even read, but you say you've killed them. You have my eternal gratitude, Sirrah. It is comforting to think my parents might now rest easily in their graves. I'm glad I can help. Where's my money? <laughs> Investigate. How are, why are you still alive? Why was your family killed? Excellent questions. Who sent these mercenaries? My family has ruled Starkhaven for six generations. We have enemies, but none who would identify themselves openly. A distant cousin of mine is claiming rulership now, but he is... a bit simple. He can be no more than a pawn in this plot. Surely you have a guess as to who was behind it? My parents were always prudent in how they handled our nobles. They did not allow rivalries or resentments to flourish. The attack must have come from outside. Kirkwall is our largest trading partner. I came back here to find support for my claim, and perhaps for a clue as to who is behind this foul deed. I wonder if she made any headway in that. Probably not. Why didn't your family's enemies hunt you down as well? That's why I took the offensive. Thanks to you, those Flint Company assassins are no longer a danger. I'm the last of my line. Unless I survive... My family will have no justice. Well, we're glad to help. Your parents probably don't care much at this point, but I hope you sleep a bit easier. Yes, I hope I will. Thank you. Consider this in advance. When I have secured my lands again, you will be paid royally. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must meet with the Viscount and petition him for aid to a fellow city. 
Sweet, four gold. I need more though. Actually, since we're you must in. really like the Hawk family. Why do you say that? You came all the way from Lothering with them, didn't you? And they're not even your clan. Humans don't have clans, Meryl. Exactly. You came so far together, and you didn't even have a keeper to make you get along. So your keeper tells you to stop kicking each other, or she'll turn the Aravel around? Sometimes she also warns us to stop pulling hair. <laughs> Oh boy, don't you love car trips? Commandments of the Maker, blah, 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 blah. Seriously, at this point, all Chantry doctrine is nothing but falsehoods. There may have been some truth to the matter in times past, but in this day and age, it's all a bunch of crap. Like most religions. First of the Maker's children. Blessed Archdiocese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck the up. The only reason I'm here is to collect codex entries and loot. Because we did not come here during the daytime. We came here at night and slaughtered a bunch of Templars. Probably not a good idea. Okay. Oof. What do we have here? Founding of the Chantry. And the worst part about the Chantry is it's fucking French. Locks of the Golden Fool. Oh, whatever. Okay, that's everything here, so let's get the fuck out of this sanctimonious shit house. I mean, seriously, do you really need this much fucking extravagant bullshit to say you're important? What the hell? Okay, let's head to Dark Town now. This should be simple, just uh, two turn ins, get out, and then move on. I say that, and I suddenly get ambushed by a bunch of rogues trying to kill me. Oh, wait. This isn't night. No, wait, 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 Never wait. Fear. Varric is here. Never fear, Varric is here. Where do these mercenaries come from? I'm pathetic. Excuse me. Who's getting their asses kicked? Not me. Of course, I'm getting plunked by arrows, so that's not a good sign. You're doing okay there, Abilene. Fucking mercenary pricks. Can't walk ten feet without getting ambushed by an asshole. Anyway. Check your purse. I think you lost something. Don't wave that around. I mean, thank you. This perfectly normal item. Dude, we're in Dark Town. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be fine. Elven Raglan. Maybe I should put you to use, Farrick. Have you penned some warnings for the Lawless? Who's that for? The most criminals, big readers. Seems like pacifying the nobles. Pictures, then. It was just a suggestion. Well, how about a giant sign that just says don't? You could hit people with it. Thank you. I get the point. A little something of yours I picked up somewhere. You have done a great kindness in returning this. How do we know where these things go? Do, do the things we pick up have a note telling them where to uh, deposit the uh, returns? The conspirators, wayward son, dark epiphany. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's a lot of shit to do. You know what? I put it off long enough. To the Black Emporium! The best shop in all of Thetis. Run by. <laughs> Customer. Thaddeus. Stand straight. Places, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to 
to the black emporium. Led by Zenon the Antiquity. Antiquity. Antiqu Point is, welcome to the best shop of Theus run I by a lich. I am the great and magnificent Zenon the Antiquarian. Oh, sorry. Xenon. I apologize for mispronouncing your name. Don't manhandle the urchin. <laughs> He's not for sale. Find your own. Don't manhandle the urchin. That Gollum's name is Thaddeus Gigantus. Crumbum the third. <laughs> he, he's my favorite. What happened to Thaddeus the first and second? Andraste in nude repose, invisible. Please don't fondle Andraste. <laughs> It's just a fucking statue. Some Dane fellow asked, Why make a shop so hard to find? <laughs> Me? Really? He just has no concept. The pickled apples of Arlathan. Good to know. I tired those plebeian items. Take what you like. No charge. Ooh, thank you for discarded weapons no and armor. Charge, that is. You hear me? Song of Sorrows, Ancient Leather Cuirass, and a Helm of Appreciation. Thanks. The box is screaming. It actually screams. All manner of crafting lore. Gathered from throughout Beta. Price is negotiable. Thank you. But unfortunately for me. Ooh. <laughs> Hello there. Oh boy, you sell poisons, potions, injury kits, grenades. Anyway. This is important. The Maker's Sigh. This concoction allows whoever to consume it to permanently reallocate his or her attributes, specializations, and or spells and talents. So if I ever need to respect for whatever godly reason where I fuck everything up, I can always come back here and buy these. Good to know. I eventually want to get elixirs of physical technique. I wonder if I can give that to someone an arcane technique. Thus, whoever consumes gains a greater master over the body's potent. Ooh, another plus two attributes. First things first, though, we're gonna sell these. Sell all the junk that we are in our possession. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sebastian. Sell that. So this, so this, and this. So this. Did not mean to do that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And this, this, and this. Get rid of that sword. The shield. These daggers. This longbow. Why am I carrying all around all this junk? Well, actually, I could sell this staff. I believe I can also sell the dual weapons now, or at the very least get rid of them. Ooh, the line over our lay. That XP gain might be useful. Probably not. Uh, the problem is I don't want to get rid of the ones that say improve level up because I want to see if they actually improve. 
I can get rid of Hater's Razor. I mean, I'm selling them for fucking copper at this point. Ugh. I mean, I understand the reason why. Those rare enchanted goods are the prizes of my collection. Lost of socks. You can never have enough socks. Uh-huh. Sure, whatever you say, buddy. And here he sells very powerful magical equipment. If we can actually use it. We can't. Well, some of it. Best, can't use that. Can't use that. Gauntlets of the Nook. Enemies drop better equipment. Visible gloves, sandals of the mystic boots, a tremendous weight. A fallen star. Sturdy belt. I want that. Oh, maker size are also sold here. Good to know. So, uh, I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I need 200 of the damn things. And here we have the Mirror of Transformation, which allows you to change your appearance. Essentially, if you screw up dur your during character creation and you don't like the way the character looks in-game, this is where we change it. Personally, I prefer Default Hawk look. Vessel of Tears. Whatever. Anyway. To the important crafting materials. I want... The Greater Elixir of Mortal Vessel. And that's pretty much it. I don't really need anything else. Unless... Uh... Design for an armor that increases the amount of coin that creatures drop. Of course. Of course there is. Yeah, we're gonna buy the formula and designs. All right then. Let's drink that potion. I said let's drink that potion. Increase our attributes. Two extra points. Let's see, the last potion I put into willpower and constitution, instead we're gonna put into strength. Excellent. Okay, that takes care of that. Now all we need to do is essentially collect a shit ton of quests. <laughs> so much stuff to do, it's ridiculous. Oh, God damn it. Okay, we got... Over here is Dead Drop for Dark Epiphany. Over here is Sergeant Johan Johanna. And here is Vincento. You remind me of Harin Pyvelvaric. Only younger and shorter, and not as serious. So, it's a close resemblance then. Well, he tells stories, and you tell stories. Although none of his begin, No shit, there I was. I'll have to give him some better stories then. The Dalish stories are kind of dry, Eric. You probably don't like them. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, let's go... Head to the dead drop, I guess? I don't care! Oh, hey, more mercenaries. You know, out of all the deadliest enemies we've encountered so far, it's gonna be archers that have been a pain in the ass. Now 
time for you. Fuck you. Oh great, pincer maneuvers. Doing okay there, Bear. What are you immune to, Rita? I would love to know. Okay, that takes care of them. Mercenary? Money, money, money. There's the dead drop. Hopefully the wardens will appreciate this. They probably will. Or so we get some actual money out of it. But even if we don't, that's a good deed to do. Or at the very least, it's a quest. Sergeant! That's the last of them. You do good work. Come, men, back to the vigil, and away from this cesspool of a city. Ooh, two gold, and enough for us to gain another level. And Aveline as well. Excellent. Okay, now we can actually start working on other things now. Can I upgrade this? Yes, I can. What other options do I have? I can upgrade... Okay, I can upgrade this as well. A sail. Massacre, that's level 12. That requires level 10. Let's see, that's... Healing for myself. Increasing my damage. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade Pummel Blow to Pummel Strike. Wait, Pummel Strike to Pummel Blow. Meh. Aveline! I feel like I just leveled you up, sister. There we go. Uh, I could upgrade shield wall. Hmm. Let's get elemental age just going. Tactics. That's fold up right now. I'll have to sort that out later. Okay, that's it for here. Let's go talk to... Vincento, I believe. Unless there's something else I can do. I could sell this health potion. For some extra cash. Okay, let's go speak to Vincento. Greetings, Sarah. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest Antivan steel to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Sounds like a deal. I'm looking for somebody. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? I have never had that privilege, Sarah. My poor wife, she's back in Antiva and cannot see me often with my travels. That's the best you can do with a guard staring you in the face. Let us not ruin the day with such weighty thoughts. Perhaps I could show you my silks. Pick up for your neglect. Tell me that your, your science will kill him. 
Perhaps you could stop jerking me around and tell me where your son is. The boy is a mage of elven blood. Do you wonder I fear for him? Good point, sir. Good point, sir. <sighs> I probably should have brought along Bethany or Anders. Shit. Well, now I definitely, definitely need to head to the f fucking gallows. Oh, there's still like for me at Gamlin's house, huh? Dark, but I understand that you are to thank for the return of lost gray worn letters. This deed did not go unnoticed. Please accept the enclosed reward and the warden's blessing. Your discretion about this affair is appreciated from Anonymous. Sweet, two extra gold. Okay. Well, that didn't work out. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to go with the standard trio of Venris, Anders, and Varric. Hi town, I still need to talk to a shit ton of people. Viking, I need to talk to people. The docks, I need to go out to talk to people. The gallows. Let's head to the gallows now. Oh boy, this will be fun. I've heard about the circle of magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for us to come here, considering who we're with? We'll be careful. What's one more mage? Now, if you don't stay quiet. Ah, Fenris, move a little. I don't think the Templars will be surprised to see another mage here, do you? Hmm. Maybe not. I'll try to look sufficiently meek and oppressed. You're not helping. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. Why the change? Are the Magisters are terrible? How's it inevitable? You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinter. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. But didn't Tevinter... Actually, Tevinter didn't technically lose. I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered the South, but not the North. The Magisters eventually surrendered to the Chantry, but they did so on their terms. They kept their influence. Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. And yet, in the south, all it took for everything to fucking spill over to a war was one explosion. You're saying the same thing could happen here? If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers? Of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. As easy as it is to resort to a sword. You were created as a living weapon. Should you not be trusted with your freedom? My powers are not controlled by a demon. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do, and then they are lost. Not all mages do that, so this is the answer. Then they should be punished. Hmm. Well, mages that resort to true blood magic deserve it. Then again, what's blood magic in Deventer is technically different than what's compared to blood magic down in the south. Eh. The ones that are lost should be dealt with. 
That is the question, isn't it? Who should deal with them? All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. She ended the tyranny of magic and replaced it with an entirely new one. Considering all that magic has done to my homeland and my race, I weep for your predicament. Power corrupts, as they say, and mages have power enough already. Indeed! Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Why do you think the Chantry has a fucking army? Are the magic I am not asking that question. That is just a way to get a slap in the face and a kick in the balls. But here's the thing, the circle doesn't work. <laughs> That's the sad part. It doesn't work. According to everything I've seen, the circle can't control mages anyhow. And what is the alternative? Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. Yeah, we came here for a reason. It wasn't to piss you off, Fenris. Templar recruit Hugh. Armor shop. Weapon shop. Death of the Templar. The best outside of Orzammar. You people all say the same damn thing. Rune of protection, no thank you. What's on this side? Templar greatsword, maelstrom, heavy shield. Oh, you sell fire rune. Fantastic, I don't need it. Okay, there's Thrust, there's Hugh. I think down here is someone I can deliver something to. Those statues were meant to intimidate slaves. You see ones like them all over the Imperium. Good to know. Record keeper. Check your purse. I think you lost something. Where did you get this? It's just what I need. Thank you. You're welcome. Solivitas. Ah, welcome, my dear friend, to Sol's shop. My name is Solivitas. Please take a look around. And my apologies in advance. Our shelves are a bit bare at the moment. Actually, if you're interested, I could use a bit of help to remedy that. What do you need remedy that? Get on with it. What do you need? How can I help? It's been too dangerous to leave the city of late, and the substances I require for my creations are, of course, elsewhere. Perhaps you could find them. You'll be compensated for your time, have no fear. I'll also give you first pick of my new creations. Sweet, I'm in. Make up a list of what you need and I'll keep an eye out for you. Perfect. A discount on everything in the shop, Sirrah. <laughs> I am fortunate to be tranquil. So many mages are plagued by unrest. Yeah, they tend to be. Omari, alchemist. Okay, alchemist, you sell potions. Yes, you do. But no. Ooh, restoration. A recipe for a potion that instantly rejuvenates even the most flagging body, restoring both but, but health and mana or stamina. Ooh, it's a potion that does both. Welcome back to Souls, my friend. Okay, I think in the mage goods section. Turncoats walking stist, loyalist for eternity staff, greater for Mari staff. What about rose? Don't need them. Rings? Nah. Rune of lightning war. Of course. Of course, you fuckers. I'm here bitching about not having enough lightning resistance, and I could have gone here and got, got that. S Fuck me. <sighs> Whatever. Venerus needs some willpower. Alright then. What's this? Spirit Pulse. Flares, darker energy, lashing foes will blast a spirit force. The Grim Ghost must be active. Ooh. Oh, damn it. If only that also affected enemies and not us. That's a problem. Well, for all time, we'll get deflect and we'll get that unless these unlock as well. Nope. Okay. That's okay. We're just not going to get Spirit Pulse, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would. Uh, 
Uh, might as well upgrade. Hmm. Like control, turn the blade around so you apply for all of In fact, if. Oh yeah, I need to actually put mites. I actually need to put points in the vanguard because otherwise I can't do anything else. <sighs> so annoying. Hmm. Wait a minute. I wonder, do these stack with each other? Because if so, that's 40, that's 60. That's 10 all around. So, Fenris, if I do that, would have a maximum magic resistance of 35 without anything else. And elemental resistance of 60 with anything else. Hmm. That would be nice to have. Uh, so many abilities, so many choices to make. And not enough points at the end of the day, which is annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna bite the bullet. And... Do that. Eric, don't worry, once I actually get you to fucking 40 const... Uh, cunning, not constitution. I will do this. Just do this. Bianca song. Yes. Attack critical chance. Yes. Confirm. Actually, now I think about it. Abilities. Precision and speed. Okay. I want precision. Tactics. Yes. Self. Any. No, not item. Activate mode. Bianca song. Excellent. Okay, now we're starting to get to the point where Varric is actually going to be a core member of the team. So once we start getting all of his abilities up and running, Varric is one of the best party members in the entire fucking game. Mainly because he's going to be critting every single fucking time he lands a shot. Massive damage potential. Let's hope I can actually pull it off. Anyway, now the real reason we're here. Drask. Are you the Templar who's pursuing the boy Fainriel? I did not realize his name was known so widely. Perhaps your friend knew him in the alienage. Not every elf lives in one of your cages, Templar. Are you a friend of his? Fainriel's a mess. I want to help. Have you met him? What is he like? From his mother's description, he sounds much like any youngster we bring to the circle. Frightened of his gift, resentful at losing his freedom, convinced he is the one exception to our laws. Hardly someone you would wish the power to murder people with his mind. Indeed. No young boy should have to face down demons alone. It is surprising what sympathies mages evoke. I always expect people to be more wary of their powers than touched by their struggles. Not all of us are. If we do not find Fainriel soon, it will not matter. Either he will be taken by the demons, or by less mystical predators. And I've said more than enough on the topic. This is a Templar matter, and we will be handling it. Can I- and you don't need help. Seems like you Templars could use all the help you can get. True. It is surely not in the lad's best interests to turn away anyone who seeks to find him. There is a Templar. A former Templar, by the name of Samson. He left the Order due to... philosophical differences. He has been known to help mages flee Kirkwall. If Fainriel went to him, Samson wouldn't tell me. He stays out of sight by day, but I've seen him at night, near the entrance to Darktown. Ah, <sighs> don't worry, Fenris. That rivalry will go the away. Like it's a prison. It's no different than anywhere in Fadeout. Oh please. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messiah. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. Ooh, interesting. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. 
There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmot and Karen were the most recent. Oh, great. Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Monsieur. A Knight Lieutenant gives you an order, and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. You can trust me. I'm only trying to keep Karen safe. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough, or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Figures? Seems to me a weak Templar would die just as quickly. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. At, uh... Where's Wilmot? If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmot. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. Do you know a recruit named Oh, Karen? damn it, here we go. His oh, shit. For him. The Knights aren't doing anything to find them. He I did. was wondering when this would actually happen. I'm surprised listening. it took me this long to screw Wilmot. that up. What? <laughs> Ugh, anyway. Well. Cullen's here, and he got a promotion. He's now a knight Why captain. Why your friend made tranquil? Do you know? No, and it doesn't matter. Nobody deserves that. I know some mages who deserve that. Really? Perhaps they should start making slaves tranquil. Then they wouldn't dream of escaping. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Slaves do not attract demons that try to possess them. Which clearly justifies it. What a perfect solution. There is no perfect solution, unfortunately. Okay, well, that was fun. Uh, let's see, I need to go to Lowtown at night to find Samson. Woolmid is, uh, right here. Or I could head to the docks. Hmm. Bone pit, loose ends. Mm -hmm. Let's head. Let's head to the Viscount's keep. Okay, let's go talk to uh, Seneschal Bran. Get the quest to find Dumas missing. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... excessive. He may be Tal the Shop. The Winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Someone's a bitch. <sighs> yes. What is it? If I count someone was taken, what's her problem? You're hiring mercenaries. If this is about a rescue, that woman did not seem the type. She is the type I feared we would attract. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. Uh, why well, was she was taking appeal to the air shock? Why not send the city guard? Tell me about the Winters. Well, if he was taking Kunari, why not just ask the air shock? The Kunari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The air shock has declared that it is not his role to do so. Apparently they're rebels, the Talvashoth, are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, not for what they may have done. That does not bode well for Seamus. Oh boy. So why not send the guard? This isn't a task for a guardsman. There is a concern of appearance. 
If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas' opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat because the city responded. In these times, public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. Don't you love politics? Ready the reward. He'll be back in no time. Declare it if you like. But the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them on the Wounded Coast. Bran, you, sir, are a dick. <sighs> Whatever. I've been waiting all day. You and every other official nobleman in this fucking hellhole. Good day to you, sir. Anyway, I'm out of time for today. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Dragon Age 2. In the next episode, we're going to continue going around, progressing through quests, gaining more quests, yada, yada, yada. It's a loop at this point. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time.